What is up Bruins fan? Welcome back to BNG Productions and today, you guessed it, we're going to be talking about the most recent trade that happened between the Boston Bruins and the Ottawa Senators and this includes former Vesna goaltender with Lin Linus Allmark who has been traded to the Ottawa Senators in exchange for Jonas Corposalo, Mark Kostelik and a 2024 first round pick which is the 25th overall pick in this year's draft now let's talk about it because i know a lot of you are extremely upset and i'm going to start it here with a little bit of an overview of what happened over the course of today because i think timelines are very important first brandon bussey goaltender ahl looking to be a sort of that backup role to swayman was signed to a league minimum deal two-way deal great you know awesome you get a goaltender that looks like finally we have the pieces in place for an Allmark trade right where you have the backup signed you're gonna sway you're gonna sign Swayman everything is perfect and then all of a sudden rumors start coming out T seven o'clock seven thirty Twitter's going crazy because Allmark is has been traded Friedman reports I think 745 750 was uh, everybody saying this deal isn't going to be good you know, the return is really poor. And then the deal comes out at 7.55, also known as five minutes before game seven of the Stanley Cup final, which is why this video is actually going to be coming out tomorrow morning instead of tonight, because I need some time to think this one through. Think about the game that just happened and why, you know, McDavid got the con Smythe and whatever, right? Lots happening tonight. But let's think about this for a second, right? Sam did a great job breaking it down on our live stream. Link can be found in the description below. But I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, do you actually think this is a good deal? And yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I am willing to put myself out there and say, I believe that this is a good deal on one, one singular condition, just one, that you actually go out and get someone in free agency. This whole move was designed to free up some cap space, fix your goaltending, basically replenish what you're losing at a cheaper cost and you make room for the future. You have a first round draft pick. Are you going to trade it? Are you going to use it? Time will tell there. I think that there is a potential that I don't think a lot of Bruins fans have realized yet, but there is a potential for the Bruins to say, you know what, we're just going to trade this pick at the draft. Not a lot of people are thinking that, but they could just in theory, just trade this pick at the draft to a team that wants a player. We had a full breakdown of all the players that could be picked at spot 25 we'll link that down in the description below as well you know we talked about the allmark trades a, a couple weeks ago Sa very similar deal except you instead of uh corpus Allo, Shikrin, so you know you get the defender instead of the goaltender but th this way you get both you know when you think about it you get a tandem going again right you get swayman and and you, you're going to get retained salary with corpus Allo. he'll be around three million right? Three million, three-year deal as a backup goaltender who really is a solid 1B. I don't know. I think it's worth it personally. You get, you give Abel the ability for Swayman to take some rest days so you're not overusing them. Think of a guy like Hellebuck in, in Winnipeg where when the, when the playoffs come around, he's been, he's an absolute sieve because he's been playing way too many games. So I leave that with you. Let, let's just think, well, let, let's pause for a second. Because I, I saw the comments. I read every comment on that live stream and I will respond to them after. But, and I will respond to every comment on this video as well. But I will ask you guys this. Just reflect for a second. Take a deep breath. You know, think this one through. Are you really upset with getting the first round pick that was supposed to be Allmark's value, par value, right? Are you upset with getting the backup goaltender who is really solid. You could be a starter. You just has to find some consistency and what better spot to do that in the, than in Boston. And, you know, you get a prospect who's a big bulky dude that could probably run some guys over that we all seem to love here. So I'm just saying, take a deep breath. Now let's take a look at what sort of the contracts look like. We'll pull up the mock trade graphic. or not the mock trade anymore, I guess, the actual trade. But the truth is here, look, Linus Allmark goes to the Ottawa Senators. They get their goalie, great. Does that mean he's going to resign? No. Does that mean Linus Allmark could, or Linus Allmark could be coming back to Boston? Yes. But does that mean he's going to resign in Ottawa? No. And that's the problem with this deal is that it's too early to be making this deal. Unfortunately for the Bruins, 
they're looking at that 25th overall pick and they want someone at that slot or they want to trade it. That becomes the issue. For the Bruins, they get back a goaltender, they get back a pick, and they get back a prospect who can run guys over. To put it nicely, you know, that's that's what they get. Three million instead of five million, right? You get two million dollars less for the cap, for a backup goaltender to play a very similar role to what Allmark would be playing this coming year. Because to be honest, they weren't going to run the tandem. And I, I, I just don't see a world where Allmark was going to even, he might have considered coming back, but it would have been a tough sell, especially with all the rumors going on around him. You got to you got to take that into consideration too, right? Whether you trade him this year, you get some draft capital and who knows, I still, I am not convinced the Bruins are going to pick this draft. You, you know, they, they have the opportunity to draft, but I think that when you think about it from a broad perspective, if they are a contending team this year, it makes a ton, a ton of sense if you're if you're Don Sweeney and the Bruins to trade this pick and say, you know what, we're going to use this pick on a, on a team that's looking at this slot. You know, maybe you get a guy like Adam Juracek. He might fall through down to 25. He's been injured all year. Hard to say what his value actually is at this point, right? That might be the move that you do. You send it back to another team. Remember, this is the original Boston pick from the Bertuzzi trade way back in the day. But the truth is, this might just be the pick that Boston trades yet again at the draft when they see players that have a lot of value that just haven't quite had the, the eyes on them at this point. Could be an interesting move to pick up. But now I'm sure you all want to see what's next for the Bruins. And this one is the cap and the free agency coming up and the contracts that we need to talk about. So let's talk, right? Let's talk. Are we in a bad spot? No, no, we're not. Because the truth is we're in the exact same spot that we were before, plus an extra about $2 million. And $2 million is a pretty good thing, right? Think about it. Swayman gets eight million. That leaves you about, I don't know, say 16, 14 million. Math's a little tricky sometimes, but the truth is, you know, you get 14 ish million to go spend on a right winger, first wing, first, first, uh, first line right winger, and you get the rest of the money to go spend on a second line center, which is the biggest, biggest areas of need for the Boston Bruins at this year. Is that a bad deal to be able to free up a couple extra million dollars in cap and, and really be able to exp experiment with it? I'll leave that with you. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Obviously, I, I'm taking this from an optimist perspective. I think that when we go to free agency, when the Bruins go to free agency, they're going to have a field day this year because they finally have cap to spend. And I think when I look at a guy like a Steven Stamkos, a Patrick Kane, you can really entice guys to come to Boston with the extra figures on short-term deals. Very important. I got a lot of flack for this because I didn't mention this in the in our free agent video, which I'll also link down in, in the description. But if you think about it, you can buy them on two-year deals, right? One-year deals, whatever it might be. In two years' time, Matt Potra will likely become that second-line center for the Bruins, right? Coyle will still be on, on that top line. The right wingers will start to come up. You know, you have a guy like Beecher who can probably play up on that top line too at some point. You know, Brazo seems to be finding a stride. And who knows, maybe even Trent Frederick's the guy that gets promoted at some point. This is what you have to think about for the Bruins. is short-term rentals, key guys that can help the team now for a win-now environment, but aren't going to handcuff you from years to come. This Corpus Allo deal certainly doesn't. Three million by three years as a backup goaltender who will likely play a sort of a more or less a 70 30 split. I, I could see a 60 42 with Swayman. You know, that's not a bad deal. You give Swayman a lot of rest going into the playoffs. You avoid the whole problem with Hellebuck that we saw this year where you overuse him. It might be an interesting move for the Bruins. And I really do like this deal. I know a lot of people were very against it, but you got to remember this isn't over yet. This move was to free up cap. You free up the $5 million cap from Allmark. You take Corpus Allo at a discount. You get these two goaltenders with Corpus Allo being a starting goaltender. If he can find his groove at the right time, sure, that's an if. That's a big if. But you can find an if. Eventually, it'll turn into a when. So in my eyes, this is a great deal. I love this deal. Now it just turns to Don Sweeney. What's the move in free agency that's really going to set them apart this year? I'd love to know your thoughts. We made a video on it already, so I'm not going to go too, too far in. But the two guys I'm looking at that I think could probably fill in about $12 million-ish 
is Stamkos and Kane. I'll leave that with you. Thank you all for watching. If you'd like to, if you'd like to drop a like, if you really like to, you're subscribing, tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on the trade. Until next time, see you.